front. Okay, I'm going to show you quickly how to use the new pack. And basically this software or this tool will allow us to design DNA strands for controlling matters and the molecular scale. Okay, so one way that we can go to uh, to access this tool is go ahead and type in newpad.org and you hit enter and you will be here. Okay, so for today uh, demonstration, we're gonna quickly look at just a very basic operation function. Right, so we're gonna click here, analysis. So when you get to this page, then there's two options. Either we're going to design or analyzing RNA or DNA. So for now, for the simplicity, we're going to use using just DNA. Okay. And again, we could uh, control the temperature. Suppose that we're going to get DNA structure at room temperature, then we're going to we uh, assign the temperature to 25 degrees Celsius. Okay, and here we could control the number of strands, species. For example, let's say I'm just looking at one strand, and suppose that you're looking at a, a small fragment from the COVID uh, virus, right? So let's say I'm gonna call it strand one, uh, COVID strand, okay? And suppose that for for the simplicity, I'm just gonna make up uh, some random DNA strand. Okay, so we know that these have to be uh, among the four uh, symbols A, T, G, C, right? And then A, T, C, G, so that we have eight. Now, for one double helix, is about 10.5 base pair. So we're gonna add two more, T, T. Okay. Now, if you look at this strand uh, by itself, uh, we could set the maximum complex size to one. And if you want to save this uh, result, you could type in your email here. If not, you just go ahead and click analyze. So the two uh, environment would compile and gonna give you a quick, very quick uh, result, right? So obviously, this strand right here is the one that we uh, typed in the previous page. And we're looking at the probability shading, or for, for now, just looking at the uh, individual nucleotides. Okay, so obviously, the convention is uh, here we're starting from the 5 prime end, and here's the 3 prime end. Okay, and this is the exact sequence that we uh, have in earlier ATGC. So if you go back to the result and you go back to the identify shading, identity shading, then we have ATGC. Okay. And how do we make double helix? Right. So we're going to go back here and we need to have another strand or the reverse complement of this strand. So now we need to increase the number of strands from one to two. And let's say this is the, the reverse complement of that one. Right. And again, we have to. Uh, stick to the uh, convention, right? So uh, reverse complement means that we're gonna start from the this side and go back. So with T, that we go, we're gonna get A, A, G would be C, C would be G, T would be A, A would be T, C would be G, G would be C, T would be A, A would be T. So this is the reverse complement of this strand. Okay, and since this is going to be a complex of two strands, or basically we are trying to form the double helix, right? So then we're going to go here and then changing the maximum complex side to two. And the moment you uh, set the number of complex side to two, then you're going to have an option to set the concentration, basically the number of moles per volume. So here is, let's say we're going to just have one unit one micromolar and one micromolar okay and we keep everything the same we're gonna do the analyze and what do you expect after we run the, uh, the, the simulation so yes indeed we're gonna get uh, 
most of the strands that we have would be uh, this complex, right? And if you click on this complex, you would get a representation of a double helix. Okay. And indeed, this is the two strand that we described on the previous page. Okay. So, and there's many more options that you could explore using new pack. But for now, I'm going to stop the video here and uh, let me know if you have any questions.